Hello friends, today I am going to tell you about second method and how to solve a problem by second method numerically by the help of Scilab. Okay, so I am using Scilab 5.5.2 version and uh, here see first uh, you should write CLC and CLC means you have to clear the console and clear, clear means you have to clear the history. Okay, so display second method that means in the uh, topmost of the calculated data it will be written second method and it should be written with the double inverted comma okay so define the function y is equal to f of x and uh, my function is that y is equal to cos x minus x e to the power x y is equal to cos x minus x e to the power x and uh, you should write e to the power x that means exponential of x and x should be kept within bracket and uh, here within single inverted comma you should write y equal to f of x then comma then y equal to cos x minus x e to the power x and close the bracket and here uh, the root lies between 0 and 1 so a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 remember that means the root lies between a and b so i am taking the number of iterates that is i is equal to 1 to 9 that means i am taking 9 iterates 9 steps okay so my formula for second method is c is equal to a into f of b minus b into f of b whole divided by f of b minus f of b. See here, f of b minus f of b should be written within bracket. Okay, so now that means uh, our formula is based upon a and b. That means a is the uh, lower limit and b is the upper limit. Okay, so after getting the value of c, that means after a and b we are getting c now the root lies between b and c not between a and b okay so the root will lie between b and c that means the lower limit becomes b and the upper limit becomes c that means our lower limit is a according to this formula so now a becomes b and the upper limit b becomes c because the value lies between values lie between Lie the root of the equation lie between b and c okay so display i and c that means for uh, i is equal to 1 c is equal to this one the root is equal to this one for i is equal to c is equal to this one and uh, the i and c should be written within square bracket and the total should be written within parenthesis and the end function so finally i have to write display c the root of the equation after 9 iterations by second method is Okay, so let us execute this one. We have to press here. So now I am going to the console here. The console is this one. Okay, so I am slowly moving to show you the complete data after nine steps. See here. Now, here the root of the equation after nine iterates by second method is. 0 0.517757363825 okay this is the solution of our equation that is y equal cos x minus x to the x by second method after nine steps okay so if you have any doubt then please ask me in the comment box thank you